Um, so, wood banks are very important. Why? Why are they important? Yeah. The wood banks, number one, there's a whole other ecology in a wood bank. They're old, they're permanent. The Williamites came and liked beach and changed landscapes. The Christians didn't like standing stones and brought in other symbols. Permanent features in the landscape are the most precious places for biodiversity. They're there not only century, century after century, but after a thousand years they're still there. The new state took this addiction to American trees. And they, they will go as well. We will come back. We will restore our relationship with our oak and our holly, formerly the holy tree, the holly and the native trees. Because that's who we are. We're not a toilet paper tree. <laughs> We're not a toilet paper tree. We're not a softwood. We're a hardy. The fact we have 26 counties, and I know that we've got Fine Gael and Fine Foyle TDs in this group, and they're most welcome. The fact that we were able to even get that much back. Although I often wonder, 1972, who remembers T.J. Marr? Who remembers his famous statement? Oh God, the six counties. If we blew away every wood bank and hedgerow, we'd have seven counties. <laughs> <laughs> that was the consciousness of the farmers. Blow away your ditches and your squirrels and your stoats and your badgers. Sterilise and exterminate your wild beings. And when that happens, begins the mental illness. Those of us who know about mental illness know mental vigour and health is tied in with the presence of permanent features and animals and wild animals. No amount of Frisian cows and cementos, limousines and very long-legged blues. You know, they've developed a cow now with an extra foot on their leg that can carry three times more milk. So no amount of that going on will make up for the presence of a hare. When I came to Inchigila the day of the auction, three hares were on my leg. Honeybees hung from the hall door of an old stone house abandoned so long ago no one remembered. The rooks had nested in all the trees and all six chimneys were packed with jackdaws. And on the way out, a stoat, the endemic Hibernicus, uh, the still Iber, the, the, the native stoat. Today, in my parish, you can go searching for a hare. One beekeeper left, I bought the house of the beekeeper. One beekeeper left within a couple of miles radius of me. Stoats are long gone. The old stone ditches and wood banks are blown away for milk. I was going to say the land of milk and money. I think I'm getting closer to the land of milk and slurry. <laughs>